While studying ancient artifacts and Myanmar traditional handicrafts, I also learned Myanmar handicrafts made from coconut shells. These are generally worthless and discarded stuff, but I combined them with Myanmar traditional technique, reflecting Myanmar culture to create masterpieces of art. For design and color, I've paid careful attention to meet the expectation of all kinds of people around the world and to instill Myanmar culture. I took reference copies from Dr. Than Tun's History of Pottery in Myanmar for some designs. I've also used bamboo fibers to create the same patterns that I learned from Shan Betel boxes. Before you open a coconut to create something, you cannot imagine what's inside. Really exciting. Sometimes you expect a larger shape, but you're only getting a smaller one. I have to do it systematically from the basic to get a beautiful coconut shell handicraft, investing my time, thinking, and creativity. Here are the stages. First of all, the husk from the coconut is removed using a gun brush which is used again to polish it more. It is then measured with the carpenter's square and opened from the top and made stable. You can use any wooden material as a base for the lid. Then, both the base and the detached lid are glued to become a cap. The coconut is again opened from the bottom by measuring with the carpenter's square. The removed lid is turned upside down, glued, and used as a covering at the bottom. Then, the gap is filled with a kind of resin, a mixture of glue and wood flour, peanut shell flour, or charcoal powder. Then the background color is sketched with attractive designs to get a draft item. You can feature additional designs and colors to successfully create a beautiful coconut shell handicraft. Bake and Trade, B2B international trading platform. Make local, trade global.